History Institute, which belongs now both to the Ministry of Education and Academy of Sciences, and my PhD about history of history education. So I'm so recently I make research about uh, history textbooks. Uh, uh, Worked for your Clio, and in that capacity are involved in some research projects. But, uh, but very often it's related to like means assessment. But I will shortly present it. I'm Anna, I'm from Georgia, I'm a history teacher, and also I work at the museum. And uh, I was an archaeologist, so it means researcher. Mm -hmm. So I like to be here. Hello, I'm Edgars, I'm a history teacher from Latvia, I work in the uh, uh, General Secondary Education. Uh, my school started uh, last year work on uh, content language integrated learning and uh, in, uh, in this topic as well uh, I'm planning to uh, write as well my uh, PhD so I'm going to write for this time. Uh, I'm and I'm a history teacher at school so that's not an issue to speak about research mostly uh, to lead students research I'm George from Hungary and um, I teach uh, history of Hungary grammar and literature and uh, as I mentioned before I don't have any special connection uh, with this topic with literature but um, I'm very curious so that's why. I'm Pascal from the Netherlands. I uh, work at Fontis as well, only in a different city. And uh, I work actually with Kais in a, a teacher training for secondary education. And uh, we actually uh, uh, give a course on uh, action research, which is didactic. And, uh, and I have really nothing to say about research. <laughs> <laughs> but you're so curious. I'm just curious. Yes. I have nothing meaningful to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kais, uh, Kais Verhaans, colleague of Pascal. Uh, besides uh, um, helping students with their bachelor thesis, uh, I also do a research project on history of tutors education. Um, and I have received the same grant as uh, she did, but I'm writing my PhD on uh, theological uh, subjects. So Currently, two, um, two days a week uh, active at the Theological Institute in London. Hi, I'm Alex from Malta. I am also a history teacher, like, like most of you. Uh, in a secondary school, I also teach at university. And presently, I'm doing my PhD with my uh, focus on historical understanding and secondary education. My name is Samuel Lee, I'm coming from Korea, uh, representing the uh, History NGO Forum in Korea, which is an uh, association of some 30 uh, history-related uh, uh, NGOs which are seeking for some historical justice and historical reconciliations with the neighbor countries in Japan and China. But I have been serving also uh, UNESCO, uh, as Secretary General of National Commission for UNESCO in Korea. Also, I was the founding director of the uh, Asia Pacific Center of Education for International Understanding, uh, which has been mentioned this morning by the uh, Secretary General, uh, which is seeking uh, the, for the education for peace and international understanding with some, uh, some 48 uh, countries of in Asia Pacific region. Hello, my name is Helena. I'm from the Czech Republic. I'm a secondary teacher of English language and history, of course, and the mother language is my research subject. And on the other hand, I'm working uh, with the National Institute of uh, Long Life Education for Teachers, and I'm organized and do seminars for them in a methodology of English language teaching and history teaching strategies. And I'm happy to be here and to uh, get a lot of information and maybe a lot of inputs <laughs> to my other practice. Thank you to be out there.
הדברים האלה עם אייל נברי. אני מגיש לי פרופסור תל אביב אוניברסיטי, 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 אני מגיש Uh, because I had together with a Palestinian colleague an NGO by the name Prime, Peace Research Institute of the Middle East. Uh, we were engaged in writing a common Israeli Palestinian textbook that ended in a successful failure. <laughs> so uh, it ended uh, the book. It is a successful part. But the, the, not, this book is not allowed to be taught in the Middle East or in Palestine. And therefore it is teaching all over the world the book is quite well known, it's a dual narrative approach that we try to develop. And the book is very well sold in English and German and French and Italian, but uh, the Arabic and the Hebrew <laughs> version are piling like stars. But uh, it will be like hope that maybe some, sometimes we will be able to distribute this book. And in terms of uh, teacher and historian, the book was produced by teachers. I was the, just a counsel that advised the teachers how to become from knowledge, produ knowledge distributor to knowledge producer. And it's her project that uh, you know, enabled me to be a little bit expert on this issue. Thank you. Hello everybody. I'm Risto from Macedonia, from Mohrit. I'm also a history teacher uh, in high school and uh, gymnasium in Mohrit. And I already started master, and I started research about some uh, local uh, historians or um, about some guy, Yanaki Strezov, or uh, his also teacher, um, first teacher in, uh, in that period in 19th century when we are in uh, Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. And uh, he started uh, with, with science, not with uh, church. Uh, and um, first he make a uh, union with the uh, Catholic Church because we have problem with the uh, Greek priest. Because of that I'm, I'm here. And okay, I'm from Slovenia. Uh, I'm a history and geography teacher. Uh, in my school we have some projects that uh, are innovative pedagogy. And uh, I'm very curious about Um, I'm from Croatia, working for an NGO called Documenta, which focuses on de dealing with the past. Uh, we have different programs, different projects. I work as a project coordinator for projects on what we see as innovating history education or innovative teaching and learning. And I have done some research for Georgia Eckert Institute about how the recent conflicts in the Balkan region are being taught in the Croatian educational system and I'm trying to push research more towards teaching practices and actors and not only on teaching materials and yes, on reflection and the practice. I found reflecting on practice a good way. Italians as observer. I am. I was just about to ask Italians whether he wants to have some connection with you. Yeah. Uh, you are here as It's a vi video yeah. selfie. Yeah. Yeah. I am from Vilnius, from Lithuania. I teach uh, history at uh, gymnasium, uh, Vilnius gymnasium, and uh, citizenship as well. So I think that every Mm, history teacher must be not only history teacher but a little bit a uh, scientist. It's my way of life. Is <laughs> part of video research? No, it's an of our conference. Observation.
Okay. Thank you. So, I do understand that we have multiple approaches as always, which makes it more exciting, that's very good. But what I will say is that we either have some connection between the textbooks or um, our own research projects, or being open and curious about possible connections between research and Yes, I, yes I, I think some of you also have got it via email. Uh, maybe also. Yes. Oh, yes. So actually, because because of the great success, um, we have twice as much people as papers. So perhaps if you can like take one, skip one, and then share. Yes. <laughs> that's okay. And that's oh, it's good that we have twice as much people, and I think. We almost have twice as much people as last year in Oakwood for the session. Yeah. Was then yeah. There were 10 of us, including Sylvia and me, and now I think one more. So that's, that's a first success, I think. Um, well, we, in, in Oakwood we addressed some uh, problems, and we also had some suggestions uh, how to work on that and how we could proceed in uh, being teacher as researcher. Uh, the problems that we addressed were, were uh, and, well, most of you can, can read it, it's the, the annex number one, it's, it's uh, about a nice scheme. Um, that, um, well, not all, all teachers who work in, uh, in primary secondary schools mostly have had an academic training, so that's one of the problems that we addressed in, uh, in Ockridge. Um, they sometimes have a, a general Bachelor of Education and not specifically in, in history. Um, so that's content wise maybe. Another problem was more formal, that uh, teachers were willing to do research also in their own schools, for example, like Pascal Tov, you can also do research in your school. Um, but they don't always get the support to do that. And also, if you really want to do more research, not everybody is so favorable as Kais and me to have a grant that allows you to do that. And also, another problem that was addressed that uh, sometimes there is a kind of mental gap between academics and, uh, and the teachers. And, well, I think that, that what we want to talk about today with you is, is not especially the academic research, but more the research you can do as a teacher within your school and maybe together uh, with other uh, Europeans or it uh, might be nice, or your colleagues. Or, yes. So um, we also had some, uh, like say, su suggestions how we could proceed on, on research. is um, too lowly on a European level. Uh, also, the maybe Stephen tell something that is uh, very happy that you join us in the session. Um, another suggestion which, of course, we could do, but we haven't done yet, and I can tell you the reason, uh, the website, uh, Europeo, is a bit, um, well, maybe you all also discovered, a long time the website was a bit low profile, there were not much new things on the website, and that was really a financial problem, because we, we didn't have uh, the finance to do that, because we, didn't, we weren't sure that we would get another operating rent. Now we have this rent, so one of the things that we are going to do planning for that for the time is to update the website and one of the things of course we could do on the website is have a forum. Members are active in, in, in doing research. It might be really something to do in Belfast uh, to have a kind, kind of a session with post presentation so that, that we can broaden our findings and uh, I think that would be very interesting to, to do. Um, what we also could do is, is have a session with, uh, with the specialists. Um, well, I must say that this is, was one of the, uh, the first reasons to do a session in Ockrid was at Penelope Harnett, who had no Nova from Bristol University. She was the one who really suggested to have a session about research. She wants to do it together with me because we also have done some comparative research together, uh, Penelope and I. But she wasn't able to come, so that Sylvia and I did a session. But her idea was to have uh, a specialist 
and people who uh, are doing research can have questions or maybe hand in a little uh, part of their research and we could have a kind of intervention session and uh, help each other with tips and advices and also have the specialist who tell something maybe about one of the aspects of research like methodology or data collection or how do you write a report or something like that. Um, and another one, um, I think Marat also suggested to have a, a, an international magazine where we can also, uh, well, publish results of uh, our research. Well, this hasn't materialized yet, but we have been talking in the board about having a, a, a magazine online, not, not a paper one, but an online magazine, in which uh, associations could contribute articles, maybe a selection of what they have in their own magazines. But the problem is, of course, it always has to be, unless you're based in England, but it has to be uh, translated in English. Uh, 